lately, I've been really wondering what the point of Diablos in general is. The whole aspect about, like, you know, this fifth generation of dragon slayers, these dragon eaters, has really started to make me wonder, like, what what is the plan from Mishima and Oeda to, you know, for these characters? I still have suspicions that, you know, the, like, the way that their guild is set up, like, you look at it, you know, it's this big scary monster on top of the building grasping the building, and you know, got this, like, spooky trees around it. It's supposed to be like a, I mean, even look at like the lanterns around it too, like skull lanterns. Even like the, uh, you know, this the, the aura around it says bad guys, but they haven't really done any evil stuff. And I think it's, you know, it's supposed to, you know, parallel that of, you know, Elisaria's guild of, of Magia Dragon because they, you know, they have this big dragon statue on it and it looks more, looks more kind of like majestic in the way it's designed. And I still think Elisari is going to end up a, a bad guy. Because, like, look at the Dragon Eater so far. The Dragon Eater so far, I don't think they've done anything really evil. I mean, even while in, you know, even in Drasil, like, they're here to take down this Dragon God. But other than that, like, they're they're hanging out. Like, they aren't attacking civilians. Uh, like, killing civilians and, like, putting them in danger is, like, one of the easiest ways to make a bad guy look like a bad guy i mean like look at look at jackal like look back at the tartar start like jackal's first things he did he was you know he bombed all of uh all of era killed all these members of the council and then like when we saw him in action like he you know he beats now for the first time you know he bombs that entire city and then he was gonna you know be like hey choose between you know the you know these two people choose between this old council member and this random no-name pregnant lady it's like yeah you're doing a good job of making him just look like a, a horrible person. Diablos hasn't done any of that so far. And with the dragon gods, so far with them, we don't know the alignment of Alderaan, Selene, or Viernes, but we know that Mersphobia, he was, you know, a bad dragon who was trying to atone for his sins to become a good guy. And Ignea is more like, does whatever he feels like. He doesn't seem like, oh, I'm evil, but I'm not good. It's kind of just like, you know, Whatever mood I'm in is what I'm gonna do. He's fully independent. So, and Alderaan, like, Alderaan's still sleeping, so we don't know if he's a nice guy or a bad guy or what. But the Dragon Eaters, the fact that they haven't been portrayed, at least as of right now, as, like, malefic and evil, and there's been so many opportunities for them to be. I mean, really the worst is, uh, you know, you had kiria be pretty sadistic with urza but you know there there was beef between the characters and then you know they, they had to fight and go down and them trying to take out merce phobia like but again keep in mind like it's like well they were trying to kill merce phobia he's got still has a history of doing evil things so it's like well they, they, you know even if he's trying to become good now it doesn't mean they have to believe him you know and the, the, there's some areas you can look at that and kind of grasp but like why they'd be like oh well you know this is why it'd be in their mind, if they're good guys, why they would still go after us. Like, the Dragon Gods are still potential big threats, and so far, it does it's not like they were always good. Now, from that, the question is, what is the point of, you know, of the Dragon Eaters? What is their goal and role going to be in this? So, one thing that I have to note is, in the story, in all this, we know that Natsu is going to have to become strong enough to fight Igni at some point. You know, Igni being a Dragon God... You know, being in that Acnologia level. And I know it's like, well, not soon crew defeated Acnologia with a lot of variables in play. So you can't really compare the two. Like even Natsu, uh, you know, pulling out like Savage Dragon Fire or having the seven Fire Dragons Dragon Force that he got during that fight against Acnologia. Even with those, I doubt he's really going to be much of a threat to Ignea. I mean, I know he got a power up to beat up on Mersphobia, but this was like a mindless uh, Mersphobia and that was a boost from Ignea, so it's kind of hard to really gauge that. I mean, unless Ignea just said, you know, fuck it, here, take this power up. I, I need you to be strong enough. And even if you're not the same, then it'll be worth it. I, I doubt it. I mean, it would kind of be weird for him not to get strong enough to the point where he's going to fight him on his own when their battle finally comes. I'm guessing that the Dragon Eaters at some point, because I, I think they're going to become allies. I still speculate they're going to become allies. Is there going to be a way for the dragon slayers to really progress like imagine natsu when he gets to a point it's like well he needs to get strong to fight ignia where is he going to get strong enough to fight ignia well you have these dragon slayers this guild of dragon slayers for him 
hopefully to go learn things about because they, you know, they have methods obviously to become very powerful and, you know, the explain the origins of like fifth generation. And Natsu could learn, you know, the essentially like assimilate into like a fifth gen, maybe, you know, get rid of his whole motion sickness weakness. And now it's like, well, that's the huge drawback, dude. It'd be OP if he does that. I mean, listen, I, this far into the story for him to overcome a weakness, especially when it's a way that's set up to exist, I, I think it'd be fair at this point for him to be like, oh yeah, you know, it's it's a weakness, but it, it makes sense to want to overcome it and to really kind of get it out of the way. <laughs> but with that, like I imagine, because we, we, you know, we got like the news of like the the big shots of the dragoners, you know, the Black Dragon Slayer Knights. We still have Georg, and we don't know anything about him. We don't even know the full size of the guild for uh, for Diablos. I, I'm still wondering if I'm pronouncing it right, Diablos or Diabolos or Diabolos. Either way, I'm just gonna go with Diablos instead until otherwise, like you know, stated. Like if they, maybe if the anime ever gets up to there and they try and pronounce it, but. But just imagine that idea. It's like we we find out that, oh, well, the Dragon Eaters aren't evil. It's just we assume that they are villains. And, you know, they're like, hey, you don't, you don't want to come train with us. We can, you know, help you unlock the rest of your powers of, of a Dragon Slayer. Maybe, like, reveal that Natsu is something beyond that. It'd be perfect if it's like, oh, yeah, this is 5th gen. And then, like, explain, like, a way for 6th. And then Natsu is like... 7th gen just to hammer in that whole like number seven again until uh into the the story of fairy tale but as of right now i i am really just kind of wondering again wondering what the overall kind of presence the dragon eaters will have because right now chapter 46 we don't have the overall kind of like idea of what's going on i know at least know like oh the dragon gods like again you know the white wizard dragon eaters are going out wanting to eat them but we don't know a lot of the backstory and a lot of the reasoning for a lot of these characters. And like I said, the origins, especially like where did fifth generation dragon slang magic like stem from? What what point did it come out of? I, I'd still like my weird theory that somebody found Acnologia's arm and it ate it after it got severed during the, the fight with Igneal. And it's just like, oh, it gave him a huge boost. And then it's like, that's why they're so powerful. Like they each consumed a part of Acnologia. It's... It's weird to think about that, but still at the same time, it'd be like, I can kind of see that making sense. But as of right now, we're going to have to speculate. Again, just just imagine the idea of, of Natsu training with these guys. You know, just a, a, a nice little time skip uh, of, you know, him unlocking more dragon slang powers and maybe evolving. Like, instead of just being fire, because, you know, I, I still have this whole theory that there's seven dragon gods because they're based off of the seven luminary days and we're you know have all of them in place except for the sun day and the earth day and not too meaning summer you know and you have already the fire day it's like oh will we become the sun dragon god which you know i think would really fit into a lot of ways of the story but as it is like i said comment below tell me your thoughts are about this and like do you think that diablos is just gonna be oh yeah they're bad guys or if they're oh they're antagonists that were misunderstood and they become allies I think it'd be cool to make them allies instead. Like, their guild so far, I mean, really the worst of them at the moment is, is the craziness of, uh, no, the, the craziness of Kyria and her, like, BDSM. Like, I know they want to eat people, but it's like dragons and these guys who are getting in their way, so obviously they're going to want to take care of them if they're trying to stop them from them doing their own missions. But... Until then, comment below, thumbs up the video, but for the like button, subscribe button, and check out my other videos. But that, I appreciate everybody's already subscribed, and thank you all for listening.